What's goody Marvel fans? Welcome back to Blurred You Heard, your go-to source for all things superhero. Today, we've got some burning hot news that's setting the internet ablaze. Ryan Gosling. Yes, the Ryan Gosling has been cast as the Ghost Rider in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Well, at least it's a rumor. Let's dive into this fiery update. So this is coming from Rejected Scooper, backed up by Holyfield News. Ryan Gosling will portray Ghost Rider in the MCU. Yeah, you heard right. The star of La La Land, Blade Runner 2049, and The Notebook is taking on one of Marvel's most iconic anti-heroes. This casting news has fans buzzing, and we can't wait to break down what this what this means for the MCU. So buckle up because things are about to get ghostly. Now, Ghost Rider, a.k.a. Johnny Blaze, is a character with a rich history in Marvel Comics. First appearing in Marvel Spotlight number 5 back in 1972, he's a stunt motorcyclist who makes a deal with the devil, becoming the Spirit of Vengeance. Known for his flaming skull and hellish motorcycle, Ghost Rider is one of Marvel's darker, edgier characters. And I think this fits, you know what I'm saying? Um... Ryan Gosling, he has been rumored to be joining the MCU for a long time. Going all the way back to, I think, Thor Love and Thunder, we got rumors that Gosling met with Feige. And, you know, there were some names thrown around, Nova, Boulder the Brave, Better Ray Bill. But it seems like now Ryan Gosling has settled on the iconic Ghost Rider, a character that a lot of us have been waiting for in the MCU for a long time. I'm surprised it took this long to get Ghost Rider, you know, or any Ghost Rider stuff moving over there at Marvel Studios. So why Ryan Gosling? Gosling is known for his intense performances and incredible range. From the romantic heartthrob in The Notebook to the stoic silent driver in Drive, he's shown he can handle complex characters. His role in Blade Runner 2049 demonstrated his ability to embody a brooding, tortured soul, which makes him a perfect fit for the conflicted Johnny Blaze. Now, and that that's if they go with Johnny Blaze. He also is a perfect fit for Danny Ketch. I think he looks more like Danny Ketch than Johnny Blaze, but, you know, makeup and all that stuff can fix that. But I think he may be Danny Ketch because... We've already seen Robbie Reyes in in live action. That's the most recent mainline Ghost Rider. And we saw him pop up played by Gabriel Luna in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. No Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is not canning. And Gabriel Luna already said like two years ago, a year and a half ago, that Marvel has moved on from his version of Robbie Reyes. So maybe some multiversal stuff can happen later, but right now it's not happening. And we also got Johnny Blaze. We've seen Johnny Blaze. We've seen Nicolas Cage, the first two movies. I prefer the first movie. I didn't like the second one with Idris Elba. But we did see two versions of Ghost Rider, so I wouldn't be surprised if Marvel Studios went with Danny Ketch for this version. This way, you you could have Johnny Blaze and Danny Ketch working at the same time as different versions of Ghost Rider. Now, there is some more... Ghost Rider news coming from Alex from Cosmic Circus. Ghost Rider will be introduced to the MCU in a very similar way to Marvel Comics. He will be an anti-hero that is loyal to Mephisto as he looks for a way out. Now that that's something I like to hear. He's not. We're not going to start this uh, franchise off, or I believe it's a Disney Plus series. So we're not going to start this series off with. Ghost Rider already free from Mephisto and doing their own thing. They're going to interject some struggle between Ghost Rider and Mephisto, which I like to hear, which would have already been happening even if he wasn't still under Mephisto's control. But I like seeing, you know, this version of Ghost Rider still connected to Mephisto. You know, Mephisto is going to be played by Sasha Baron Cohen in upcoming Ironheart, I believe. I'm not sure if that's 100% confirmed, but that's the rumor right now that Mephisto will be played by Sasha Baron Cohen and Mephisto will show up in 2025 or 2026 Ironheart series so Mephisto is on the way it makes sense that Ghost Rider will follow in suit I'm super hype about Ghost Rider Ghost Rider is a character that I've been waiting for four years since the MCU started 
I believe it was some rights issue in the beginning, but they got the rights back for Ghost Rider early on, if I'm not mistaken. So now we're starting to see some Ghost Rider in the MCU. So that's super dope. Now let's talk about what Goslin might bring to the role. With his charisma and death, he can expect a, we can expect a Ghost Rider who is not just a fiery Avenger, but a deeply human character struggling with his inner demons. Plus, imagine Ghost Gosling's suave yet intense demeanor combined with the terrifying visual of Ghost Rider's flaming skull. It's going to be epic. I think I think it will be. You know, I like I said, Ghost Rider is a fan favorite. Oh, they can tap into the more darker side of the MCU, the magical side. We already have Strange and Wong doing that. We'll probably, most likely, hopefully have Doom in the midst of that. And even the Ironheart series is rumored to be a situation where it's going to be science versus magic. Like the plot is going to be like a science versus magic plot. So we're getting a lot of magic in the MCU in the next few years. So I'm super excited. Now, Midnight Suns, Ghost Rider is also rumored to make appearance in whatever Midnight Suns project they have coming down the line. Check this out. Midnight Suns will have around six to nine members. The lineup might consist of Doctor Strange, Ghost Rider, Blade, Moon Knight, Wong, Agatha, Scarlet Scarab, Elsa Bloodstone, Man-Thing, Werewolf by Night. Now, this is another project that people have been waiting for since before or around the time Multiverse of Madness was get, was starting to get going. Now, when it comes to this team, I don't think they'll use this many members, official members. I'm sure some of these people will pop up in the movie, but I don't think they'll all be act, super active members. I think the only mainstays are Strange, Ghost Rider, Blade, Moon Knight, and Wong. I think those are like, I think those are solid for sure picks for the team Agatha, Scarlet Scarab Elsa Bloodstone, Man-Thing and Werewolf by Night, I see them as cameos and appearances but not actual members, I know a lot of you guys want to see a Punisher on this team or Wolverine some, some variety and I think those characters will be added at a later date if not the same movie or the sequel but this is what the rumored team is going to be for Midnight Suns and I'm glad to see Ghost Rider in the mix. Now Marvel Studios has been on a roll with its casting choices and this is no exception. Bringing a high caliber actor like Gosling into the fold shows that Marvel is serious about exploring new and exciting characters in Phase 5 and beyond. Now let's speculate a bit. How might Ghost Rider fit into the current MCU storyline? Will he team up with the Avengers or perhaps join forces with Doctor Strange like I said in the uh, Midnight Suns movie, the possibilities are endless, and the thought of Ghost Rider interacting with characters like Spider-Man, Blade, or even Moon Knight is thrilling. Fan reactions have been overwhelmingly positive, with many expressing their excitement on social media. Some are even hoping for a cameo in the upcoming Blade movie, and that's if we ever get the Blade movie. You, you guys know, a lot of you know how I feel about the Blade movie and if you don't check out some of the videos on my channel but I'm sure we've all heard about the madness surrounding Blade behind the scenes so let's cross our fingers and hope that that project still comes out but let me know what you guys think in the comments about that that's all for today's fiery update if you're as excited as we are about Ryan Gosling joining the MCU as Ghost Rider smash that like button subscribe for more Marvel news make sure you join the channel I got channel memberships now you know I'm gonna be putting up some exclusive content and some perks but you guys gotta join support the channel like the videos support the channel and join the channel membership to support the channel it's only 99 cents so rock with your boy Thanks for watching, and we'll catch up with you next time. It's your boy PB3G. I holla. Gang.